Hi everyone and welcome to Football Therapist. Uh, today I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm going to reveal the, the training method uh, used by the modern generation of German coaches, better known as differential uh, learning. This method is based on the discovery of German movement and training scientist Professor Dr. Wolfgang Schulhorn who noticed that variability, variety, is the key to effective learning. The neurophysiology indeed showed that if you stimulate nerves one after the other, as a, um, there's almost no adaptations after the third stimulation. This means that the so-called uh, drills with uh, constant repetitions until you reach a certain uh, ideal of of movement is not the optimal way to go um, and to to achieve this this ideal at all in fact there's a, a shorter one that of differences and, and variations with which are actually the basis of learning me mechanisms because as dr wolfgang schulhorn uh, was able to observe through his research movements are never repeated exactly because of constant fluctuations even with stop asleep. He therefore concluded that the body learns from the difference by getting more information which it can which it which it can then compare. What is also important to know is that mistakes should should be sought as well through these new experiences because one um, one can learn from, from them. Learning processes in the brain are indeed activ activated much better by, by situations that, that are uncertain of success than by situations with almost no risk of failure. Now is this differential learning method implemented in football, one might now ask. The answer can be found again in the work of um, Dr. Wolfgang Schönhorn because he published in a he published an evidence-based list of shooting exercise variations. Ideally, at least one of the following factors uh, should be changed after every attempt. The position of the kicking leg and the standing leg, and or the torso, head and arm position, without forgetting to change the run-up and the kicking leg regularly. Additional tasks such as closing one eye at the same time or aiming at the target zone can also be added, uh, as well as variations of, of the ball contact. Not only should the ball be stopped when shooting, uh, as it should sometimes also be dribbled and, and passed too. Even this ball can be changed, uh, something that Thomas Tuchel has already applied by bringing a, a smaller ball for his teams. This way, the players have to concentrate more, as well as to be touched with greater accuracy. In other words, uh, the goal is to make everything more difficult in order to, to force players to, to adapt through such situations with uncertain success. In fact, they constantly have to adapt during games, which is why it, it is necessary to train not only for certain ideal and, and desired situations. And of course, uh, this, doesn't, this doesn't only apply to shooting techniques and, and movement learning in, in general. Otherwise, my video title would certainly be, be different. In fact, uh, Dr. Wolfgang Schöllon has had an influence on, on, moder on modern German coaches with this, uh, with this discovery. Initially, through the, um, the relationship between Mainz 05 and the University of the, of the same city where uh, the scientist precisely wo uh, works precisely. He's first been able to work closely with Thomas Tuchel, who, whose success with his various teams also caused interest in this differential learning method, uh, among, uh, among other coaches as well. Ralf Rangnick, um, Jürgen Klopp, Nico Kovac and, Jürgen, and Jul Julian Nagelsmann have indeed also learned from Dr. Wolfgang Schulhorn and implemented differential learning into tactics training. For example, uh, the young FC Bayern coach makes his players think through training situations during the week before a match that surprisingly shouldn't really happen uh, in that match. 
If the ball will have to be played through the middle against a certain opponent, the, the, the Munich players will actually practice playing situations uh, on, the wing, <laughs> on the wings during the previous training sessions. In this way, the brain learns to prepare itself to, to be constantly challenged. The idea of brain training is also implemented by Rolf Rangnick, for, for example, by adding an additional temporal stress during, uh, during normal training games, which suits his, his counter-pressing style of play very well. In fact, uh, Ra Rangnick is known for his setup countdown clocks that, that tick loudly on the training pitch for 8 or, or 10 seconds directly after losing the ball. This makes the players estimate how much time they still have left to score a goal or, or to recover the ball. In other words, uh, transitions are, are trained through, through time, time constraints. The former Leipzig and Salzburg's, uh, Salzburg sports director sometimes, sometimes sets other additional tasks in, in such training games or in so-called rondos. So, such as limiting the, the number of ball touches or, or, spe, uh, or special um, points that could be obtained by passing the ball to cer certain zones. The advanced ver version would be to change uh, the tasks and uh, the allowed or targeted zones with every switch of play. But not only the task, uh, the tasks can uh, can be changed. In fact, Thomas Sewell, who is certainly the best embodiment of the implement of the implementation of this differential learning method in tactical training, is precisely known for changing the environment of these exercises uh, as well. Uh, although he once took his players to a slippery pitch on, on purpose. With them, uh, it's more about varying the, the shape of the of this pitch and narrowing its size. Tuchel's pitch can in be, indeed be 18 meters wide and uh, 75 met meters long, as well as uh, 70 met meters wide and 30 meters long. In order to work specifically on building up play on a certain side, he can even close off the other uh, completely. His most famous pitch shape, uh, however, looks like a diamond. The reason for this is the, the history of uh, his stage at, as Mainz uh, 05 coach, where his players had uh, become accustomed to, to playing about passing pattern, patterns through time. In fact, Mainz used to play uh, square passes to the side from midfield, before then passing forward uh, down the line, which made it very difficult to, to make anything out of. That is why Tuchel simply cut the corners of his pitch uh, so that the players could, could change their, their, their sinking patterns. The strikers were then forced to, to look for other running ideas, whereas the, the midfielders were thus able to perceive the, the square pass to the side as dangerous, which led them to to look for passing options uh, up front and, and to no longer overestimate the risks of losing the ball in this respect. And that is also uh, much more comfortable than always telling the players or not to use this passing pattern because in, in this case the coach would be a critic and, and, and no longer a supporter. A supporter. With the same idea, Tuchelans gave um, tennis balls to some players to get them out of the habit of pulling the shirt of or the arm of opponents. Even weirder could you consider another task uh, given by the German coach, as he haunts, uh, asked his players to, to always control the ball with the knee. Other Tuchel's training exercises, however, look more like the additionally requested tasks of Rangnick. In Tuchel's training games, it is sometimes indeed forbidden to, to play through the center circle as well as to have more than two players in the same zone when out of possession, so that they can learn to watch out for uh, then possible numerical infer inferiority elsewhere. These training games can also involve more than two teams of different colors which have to combine together depending on the game situation. Through, su through such exhausting training sessions, 
Game should then look uh, as if it was recovery, and not only for the body, but also for the head. The question now is, where else in the football world, and how is this differential learning approach being applied? Although you might be able to complete my forthcoming answer to, to this question in, in the comment section, the first club that absolutely must be mentioned are FC Barcelona, because Dr. Wolfgang Schellon worked closely with their famous fitness coach and head of methodology, uh, Francisco Paco Cairolo. However, La Masia is not the only academy where differential learning is carried out, because in that of Olympique Lyonnais, for example, envir environmental uh, change is very important. Futsal is played there relatively often, where the smooth ground acts uh, as a time constraint since, passi since passes uh, arrive earlier. Because it's dangerous to, to tackle in futsal, Anticipation skills are also usually required more. What can be considered uh, another application of differential learning in Lyon's youth teams is the organized variation of the, forma of the formation set up, something Marcelo Bielsa has always promoted, especially in youth football. In fact, according to, to him, there are 10 playing systems that every player should have experienced enough and that he always mm, trains too roughly with his teams during the preseason in, in order to, to then be able to, to switch without any problem from one formation to the other during the season depending on how the game is evolving. However, new game situations can also be experienced by players through simple position changes. Here Centre-back Matthijs de Ligt is certainly the prime example because he, he developed uh, his passing ability in the academy of Ajax Amsterdam as midfielder before having been then always lined up in, in defence from the age of 15. But there's one academy where such position changes are planned on purpose, that of Ecuadorian club Independiente del Valle about which I precisely published a video, uh, which then enabled me to interview their former academy di director, Ivan Vasquez. Thanks to this video, unfortunately only available in Spanish, I learned that this change of position is another success secret of this academy. I'll let you discover their other success secrets by watching my other video, which does is available in, in English as well. Guys, it's a wrap for today, but you'll be able to, to find such videos about football training methods on, on my channel on a, on a regular basis. Therefore, I invite you to subscribe to, to my YouTube channel, as well as my Twitter and Instagram accounts if you're interested. If you liked the video, feel free to, to give me a like, tell me about it in, in the comment section and, and share the video. That would, be, that would, that would help me a lot actually, uh, more, more than you think. Ciao, bye.